Great to be here, Milan. Tell me, why did Hexagon set up Sixth Sense? Hexagon set up Sixth Sense to basically have an easier way and better way to work with startups. We had no real program and no real organized way to discuss anything with startups, so it turned into multi-year engagements that usually didn't go anywhere. So about a year and a half ago, uh, myself and yourself uh, went to the management of Hexagon and suggested that there might be a better way how to do this, which is what birthed a proposal for Sixth Sense. And startups mean so many different things to different people. What, what, what's Hexagon looking for in terms of the stage of the startup? Over first and second cohort, we have learned that uh, typically around post-seed and seed A are the best fit uh, for uh, Hexagon. Primarily, the best fit comes from the fact that at that stage, they have some revenue coming in, they have a, a relative product market fit, and their biggest pain is trying how to scale their business. And because of Hexagon's reach with customers and in many industries, the idea that we have here is that we can probably help them get to that next level uh, and use the program to get to know each other and go there. So product market fit, sorted, maybe first customers already in place, and what they're really looking for is scale. Exactly. When you and I kind of did research for this, we found that, especially in some territories more than others, that funding is usually not the biggest concern. It's always a concern for a startup, and I don't want to uh, you know, diminish that. But the bigger concern for those kinds of post-seed C day startups is really reach to customers. How do I get to more places? How do I do a joint product maybe with a corporate that has an insight? So I think we figured that that's where the sweet spot is for a program like Sixth Sense to help. That's not to say that in the long term we would do other things, but right now that's where the best fit is. And talk to me about what type of innovation turns Hexagon manufacturing intelligence on, for, a, for want of a better <laughs> word, but what kind of innovations are you looking for? The main concentration for uh, manufacturing intelligence, obviously, is advanced discrete manufacturing. So the idea of... What does that mean? Which is uh, anything that you see that's actually being made. Discrete is just varied parts that go into an assembly of a plane or an aircraft or anything else that you see. What we're looking for is What's the next thing? So you have concepts like lights out manufacturing, which is automating a lot of processes. You have concepts like digital twin, which is ability to simulate the process ahead of time. Additive manufacturing, which is, for those who don't know, that's 3D printing. AI and machine learning. So anything you typically hear on a hype curve and other things where things are going is what we're interested in. Even though they're relatively narrow, uh, as we announce them, they're actually broader in a scope. So we try to recruit many different companies, or we try to look for experimentation into areas that we are not present in, and then pull somebody in to see how it fits. And what I've loved uh, learning about Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence is that you're, you're such a world leader in the measurement equipment and tools, so robotic arms, sensor technology. And then I think it's the excitement that you've just talked about, that hype curve, which is, how do you get better at grabbing all elements of data from that measurement technology to enable you to do digital twinning and uh, simulation kind of software? So it sounds like, from what we've seen of the cohorts, the particular types of innovations that you're looking for around sensor technology or the use of data in kind of digital twinning uh, seems to be a kind of key area for you. Yeah, I mean, I think the best way to look at this is the DNA of Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence is a science of metrology, which is measurement, and not weather. Um, and it took have, me ages. To I know, I know. And everybody always says, "So you guys do weather?" But the bigger scheme was then we added production, uh, which is cutting metal and doing subtractive or additive manufacturing, and then we added simulation. So we're trying to execute a, a full chain of manufacturing from design to quality. And we're currently working, and this is going to happen, I think, February 23rd. There will be a release of a Nexus platform that is trying to attempt to connect all those pieces together so that somebody in advanced manufacturing has the full chain all the way from designing a part to essentially shipping a part. Pretty exciting. Um, is Sixth Sense a global program? In the cohort one, we had applications from all four continents. We ended up from 24 countries, I vaguely remember for that. And we ended up having uh, from three continents, Europe, South America, and North America. In this cohort, uh, depending how you count Israel, is it Europe or Middle East, uh, plus Europe and plus North America. So we take applications from all over the world. So wherever in the world you are, 
feel free when we open challenges to apply to our program. Um, and we try to be global in nature. Obviously, there's challenges with that because time zones and other things, but we always try to accommodate as much as we can to what we can do with those companies. What should startups that get on Six Sense expect from the program? Talk me through how uh, this adds value to a startup. Yeah, I mean, I would say primary thing that startups get is access. So regardless of everything else, the primary thing is they get access. They get to meet product leaders, business unit leaders, financial leaders, CEOs, CTOs, CPOs they get to bring up a much larger network to themselves from a hexagon perspective. The secondary is we do try to get people to stand behind what they do and let's say hone better the messaging and pitching as to what they're trying to achieve. So we do a essentially a three-step process, which is we do fit of technology. So we essentially look at how does the tear tech potentially fit to anything that hexagon might be doing or does it open a new door where Hexagon could go from a technology perspective? Then we do the fit to business, which is the easy one, which is how do you make money? And how can we all make more money in the long run, which is basically means how do we help you scale the business? And then at the end, we do a pretty rigorous critique of pitches that are presented at a demo day. So there's a journey from a pitch day to a demo day that's roughly eight to 10 weeks. And the work put in is to try to show progress for where you start, what did you learn, how do you think you can scale the business and how can Hexagon or a customer of Hexagons help you get there? How does the wider Hexagon kind of business units interface into Sixth Sense to help with that process? Last cohort, for example, we have a company that not only has a product that fits into manufacturing intelligence division, but also fits into ALI division. So we try to also look at opportunities that go beyond just where we sit and try to broaden the scope of where it goes. We have had amazing reception from other divisions who are closely following what we're doing in, a, in a manufacturing intelligence and trying to see how, as we progress, this could affect all of Hexagon, not just necessarily where we are focusing out. But there is a purpose for a focus, which is to work out all the kinks, all the details, and to find out what works better and what doesn't. And we always, as you know, we tend to revise a little bit for every cohort to do better next time. Where do you see Six Sense going in the longer term? I think Six Sense naturally is going to pro most likely progress to the rest of the Hexagon family in very you know slow steps into kind of make sure that we're doing the right thing and we learn that what each division does and where we want to go. We're talking about adding more about incubation so we can nurture internal innovation. We never know, we might be able to get a corporate venture funding stood up, but this is all long-term plans to enable a much more cohesive and structured way to work with startups and provide other opportunities for both entities, Hexagon and a startup, to kind of mature and scale whatever is up there. Thank you, Milan, for your time. Thank you, Richard.